So this assignment is called Technology Pioneer, where you will make a Facebook profile page, or in this case, a fake book profile page for your person um, that you choose from the list of technology pioneers. So I'm going to go under the Schoology page and then select fake book profile. And in Schoology, the assignment says to select a technology pioneer and make a fake book profile page by using the template. And here are the different uh, technology pioneers. So you will pick one of these people. Um, we will discuss each and every person in class. Um, or you can simply Google each person to see what they have invented that helped our technology um, for today in modern day. So I'm going to click on the fake book template. And if for some reason you cannot type or edit this template, uh, you'll want to make a copy. Um, and you can do that by going under File, Make a Copy. And so that's what you'll do. Uh, you may not have to make a copy, but that's the, an option in case it will not let you um, edit this template. So basically, um, you're going to replace uh, the word unknown person with whoever you're choosing. And in my case, I'm going to select um, Heidi Lamar. Um, Heidi Lamar was the inventor of Wi-Fi and the GPS system, and she was also a Hollywood actor uh, back in the day. Like I don't, I, I forget what what year she was born, but what we're about to find out. So on the left side column, uh, you'll put a picture of your person. So um, in this case, I'll put insert image, search the web. And I'm going to search for a picture of Heidi Lamar. I'll click that. And I'm going to make the picture a little smaller. And you may want to click the third um, button here, which will allow you to move the picture around a little bit and place it where you want it to be placed. Okay, so that, again, the third icon here underneath the picture. So directly under the picture, I'm going to put the word information. And I hit my cap locks because it's a heading. And I'm going to select the word information. And I'm going to change the color of it. Maybe hit B for bold. And maybe... Um, hit center alignment just to make it stand out a little bit. So under the word information, you'll put network. And network just means um, what company or what are they associated with. For instance, if you chose um, Elon Musk, um, his network would be PayPal or Tesla or SpaceX. Um, in this case, Heidi Lamar is, uh, her network might be um, Hollywood, uh, MGM, um, and then maybe, I don't know, uh, GPS. I'm just going to put that. There's no right or wrong answer. I just want you to put an answer for each caption. So network is going to be like the heading there. So I'm going to make the word network stand out a little bit and maybe make it the color red, maybe B for bold, and maybe I'll increase the size of the font a little bit, as well as information. I think I'm going to increase the font size a little bit larger so that it stands out. Okay, so underneath network, you'll put birthday. And I want to keep it consistent with the word network. So I'm going to keep it my cap locks on. I'm going to select the word birthday. 
and make that also red, maybe B for bold, and increase the font size to match network. Okay, so Heidi Lamar's birthday, I'm going to have to Google that. And you're going to just put whatever you Google, you're going to put the answer. So in this case, I'm going to copy and paste. Whoops. And again, I want to keep it consistent with my other answer up above. So just keep everything looking uniform here. And you're just going to keep going. So the next caption would be, I'm going to hit my cap locks, relationship status. Again, this is to look like um, a Facebook profile page. So you're going to Google the answer to that. And again, you're going to select relationship status, change everything to look like the previous captions, and so on after relationships that again you're going to look up the answer to that for whoever your person is next caption would be hobbies next caption would be places worked again you're going to google that answer i'm going to hit return a couple of times and the next heading is going to be photos now i'm going to select this I'm going to make it look like the same caption as information. I'm going to hit B for bold. I'm going to center align it. And I'm in going to increase the size to make it look about the same as information. OK. Now, underneath photos, you will put um, several pictures to fill in the rest of column one. So you might want to put pictures of them with their family, maybe pictures of them at work, maybe pictures of them with um, famous people, whatever you wish uh, to put. So I'm going to insert image, and you're going to make these pictures smaller than their profile picture, which is up at the top of the column. So insert image, search the web, and again, I already have her name here. So I'm going to just scroll down, and I'm going to put different pictures of her and make them smaller. Again, I want to hit that third icon so I can place these pictures anywhere I want. I'm going to insert, whoops, insert image. Search the web again and just keep going and pick different pictures to fill in. Hit the third icon so I can place it. Insert image. Search the web. and so on. So you're just going to keep finding pictures of what you think might look interesting and make it fit onto one page. You want to make everything fit and make them look uniform. Make them look about the same and so on. So yeah, I'm going to put one more picture in there and make it small. So that completes column one. So now column two. Um, you are going to put a post that you think they would want to say on social media. So we're going to start off with putting their profile picture here, but making it very small because that's what Facebook would do. They would put a little tiny picture of your profile picture right next to the posting. So I'm going to click Insert Image, search the web, and I'm going to put the picture that I used 
for her Oops, hold on. Double click on the picture. Click on the picture. Hit the third button. Make it smaller. Now I have no idea what happened there. I'm going to try this again. Sorry, sometimes things happen. Insert image, search the web. Double click it. Hit the third icon and then make it much, much smaller. Okay, so I placed it. I've made it smaller. I want to put it up here. Again, I want to place it. Come on. Sometimes it just takes a little situation. Okay, so underneath her picture, um, because Heidi Lamar is a Hollywood star, I'm going to put her name. And I'm going to put a post that I think that she might want to share with the world or say. Um, going to my movie premiere tonight. So excited. And that's what I am going to say for her post. Now, um, underneath her post, I want to put a horizontal line. So I'm going to put insert horizontal line to kind of separate her posting from uh, the rest of the information we're going to be putting underneath. And the next heading we're going to put, I'm going to hit my cap locks again, is basic information. I'm going to select the words and because it's a heading I want to change the font color. Uh, maybe be for bold, maybe increase the font size, and maybe center align the heading. Under basic information, um, you're going to look up all this information. Um, whoops, I don't, I don't want this blue, and I don't want this center aligned. I want it left aligned, and I want the font color to be black. OK, so the first heading is work, gender, places lived, Hometown, relationships, status. Again, I know we have it over on the second or the first column, but they have it again in, on Facebook. Life events would be something that happened. Um, so maybe you might want to mention uh, what they invented under life events. And for Heidi, it would be that she invented Wi-Fi and GPS and maybe some of the movies she was starring in. Um, again, network, which is another repeat from over in this column. I would put the same answer over here under network. Uh, I'm going to hit return a couple of times. Personal information. Again, it's a heading. I'm going to select. Hit the blue. Hit center alignment, B for bold. Okay. Um, activities. And this would be something that they like to do in their spare time. Again, you're going to Google all the answers to all of these headings that I've just typed. Activities, interests, favorite music. Uh, again, if you can't find the answer to favorite music, you might want to look up the music that was popular during that time. Um, she was born in 1914, so you might want to look up um, popular music in 1914, or um, I don't know, it's up to you. So favorite movies, 
again, if you can't find their favorite movies, put in a movie that was popular during that time frame. Favorite TV shows. There's no right or wrong answers here. I just want to see answers. Favorite books. Whoops. Okay. Now I'm going to hit return a couple more times, and I'm going to type contact information. I'm going to select. This is a heading. I'm going to hit B for blue, B for bold, center align it maybe increase the font size. And under contact information, again, we want to make this black font and left alignment and not bold. Um, address. Um, if you can't find an address or where they live, just make up an address. And then also phone number. You're making up a phone number. And if you wish to add any more information for contact information or anything else to fill in the rest of this column, um, just make it look filled in and try not to have any white space. Maybe put a couple more little pictures down below. Um, it's really up to you. And that completes and concludes um, the Facebook project.